Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of Guacamelee! We are currently powering ourselves up before we go fight Kalaka in the finale. And now, we've just finished a bit of work in the tool tree, we're heading over here to the Desierto Caliente! So we can hopefully unlock some new things here. We have $5,000 to spend, so we're gonna eventually work our way over to this friend over here, who will help us get into that locked door. That one seems pretty straightforward though, so we'll see what else we can find along the way. There might be some more hidden stuff in here, so we'll see what we can uncover. Not entirely sure what be what, but we'll take a look around and we'll see. So, up to the surface we go. Let's boogie. We've got lots of fun powers which make this exploration a little bit easier, so we should be able to get around pretty quick here. In fact, I bet you I could go really fast if I did the dash here. Woohoo! Oh! Nice hit there, Juan. Oh, we went right over what I thought we were going to go to and smacked into a cactus. That's unfortunate, but not the end of the world. Going back this way because we actually want to drop down here because I think we actually missed a chicken tunnel here. Down to the bottom. Down this way. Get out of the way there, dudes. Get out. Get, get, get down. Yes, we did. Looks like there was a chicken tunnel right here. Aha! With a piece of heart in it. That's a nice thing to find. Alright, that'll definitely put us in better shape. What else are we missing? I know there's another area over here that we could go up higher. I think that was actually over here, though. We already did that. That might be everything except for the door. So let's head over the door and see what we can get through there, and we'll work our way out of here. Hello. It would be nice to have a way to run a bit quicker, but I guess I shouldn't complain, because we are pretty incredibly mobile now. Any complaints are fairly unjustified at this stage. Let's go, little chicken. Let's boogie. I could go up there. I don't think there's anything up here, though. Nothing special, anyway. Doesn't seem that way. Alright, well, that's fine. We'll come back on the other side. And underneath, which is where we need to go to get to our portal anyway, so that's fine. Here's what we're gonna do. Ah, oh, I missed it. Come on now. There we go. That's better. Whoop. Missed the jump, though. Perfect. The clumsiest possible way to get through, but honestly, this point doesn't really matter how we get through as long as we do get through. We're gonna tank our way through here because chicken don't care. Chicken don't care. And there we go. We made it. So, about that explosive you have. What do you say, Luchador? Want to buy my Dinamita Espectral to find what lies beyond yon ancient gate? Sure. Pleasure doing business with you. Please, you do the honors. What? Nothing happened? Weird. Uh, honestly, I haven't used magical explosives before. Maybe you did it wrong. No, it's just in the other dimension that it's open. You'll never be able to go through, but I will. Is this all it is? Is there just a orb in here? Ooh. This is interesting. Why is there a drill robot in here? And there's no orb, so if you come up normal world, that's what you see. The other world, we see there's a drill bot in here. Where is this? Are we going into hell? It looks like we may very well be going into hell. Yep, El Infierno, we made it to hell. Well, that sure is a thing. <laughs> we got everything in Desierto Caliente, though, so that's good to know. Huh. Why is hell full of drilling robots? Or, it's not robots, more like drilling machines. And broken ones at that. <laughs> you can't go to the light world here. Okay, so there's no world switching. You can only be in hell in the land of the dead. Makes sense. Hmm. We found 
found the city of El Infierno. The city of hell. Hello there. Whoa, a luchador! How did you get down here? Has someone checked your papers? Ah, the huge hole in the wall. Right. Well, you can thank Calaca for that. Well, you're in the Infierno now. El Diablo once kept this place running very smoothly, but since Calaca's uprising, he's missing. It's pandemonium around here. Well, we found him. He's a rooster. You seem human, and yet... What do you hear? What? <laughs> that's, not a, that's not a sentence. Lovely. El Infierno. What do you have to say? El Diablo used to run things from atop that huge tower back there. It's never been I've never been above the third floor, but I've heard he has a really sweet office. <laughs> uh-huh. Nice beard. Alright, what else do we have going on around this place? This place is so disorderly since Calaca teamed up with that sorceress and escaped. Say what you will about El Diablo, but it kept things predictable. The torture kinda sucked though. <laughs> I'm sure it did. This isn't much fun. I find myself Sharon. Le Care. Is it supposed to be caring less and less? Because isn't it Sharon? 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 That that pun doesn't make sense to me. Devil's advocates with the EA logo. Lovely. They say Kalaka raised his army from spare bones lying around, so the skeletons invading your world are puppets, not people. Even if he hadn't destroyed our bookkeeping keeping systems, that would have thrown the census records completely out of whack. But did he give one thought to the hassle he was causing? Not very likely. Selfish, right? What a jerk. Oh, what do you know? Apartment 666. Alright, let's go in here then. Hello. He's crazy around here these days. It's pretty sure I saw a rooster run by earlier. Maybe it's like someone's pet? No, that's the devil. You saw the devil. How do you think I stay so lean? The ball and chain is actually a pretty good workout. <laughs> sure. Alright. We're gonna have to go up, I guess. Kalaka does not have the proper permits to be raising an undead army down here. If El Diablo were still here, he would be losing it. There's an elevator we cannot use. Another elevator we can't use. Blasted! Button! Open! This door! I have work to do! Ah! Oh, Lutador. Actually, hang on just a second. Alright, that was weird. My phone rang once and then stopped, said I had a message, but I didn't. So I'm not sure what that was all about. Anyway, here we go. Oh, Lutador. I was just examining this elevator. My office, which is broken, to my office, or my elevator, rather, which is broken, to my office, which is filled with very important documents. I have just returned from my little hiatus in the world above, and I'm noticing some tiny changes Galaka has made around here. For example, he seems to have rigged these doors locked up to some kind of arbitrary achievement system involving all the old torture rooms upstairs. I don't know if he did this to train his soldiers or it's a sick joke or what. I can't do much about it in my current form. You know, it's funny to see you here, Lutador. Quite a coincidence, really. After I helped you to such a difficult predicament up in the desert, suddenly you arrive in El Infierno, all muscular and able-bodied. Seems almost like fate, right? Well, why don't you just head on up to the torture chambers and let me know how it goes? How? These doors aren't interactable. I guess we go this way? We go that way. Alright. Well, we just finished a platforming challenge. Looks like we're... Come on. Headbutt this direction. There we go. Looks like we're about to go do some combat challenges now. Oh, yes we are. Challenge one. Race to the goal as quickly as you can. Oh, these are all kinds of different challenges, aren't they? <laughs> A rooster came by and started clucking and flapping at me earlier. I had to physically shoo it away to get back to work. Okay, then. Let's try these challenges. This is a race. Oh, wow, you actually have to beat the top time in order to do it. The best way, I think, would probably be to... Oh, that's a wall I have to dodge through. Whoops. Probably gonna do this more than once. Just to get the feel of it. Well, we almost got gold. We could definitely do that one again and get gold pretty easily, though. It said select would be restart, but it didn't let me do it that time. All right. Let's try it again. If we get the right spot here, we should be able to get up pretty quick. Having the double jump helps. Up the wall. Dash this way. Up the wall. Dash this way. Easy gold. 
There we go. Okay, what's the next challenge? Challenge two. Defeat all the enemies and get the highest combo. Ooh. 400 hit combo? That's a pretty evil combo you need to get. Are they gonna be lots of enemies that stand on the ground? Can I just sit around and let them all spawn so it's really easy to get a huge combo? Looks like this is all we're- oh no, we can get more. There's no time limit here, so I'm quite happy to just sit around and let them spawn more guys. That looks like that might be it for now, though. So let's try and beat these guys up a little bit, and now we do this. Easiest way to get a big combo in this game. Throw enemies into each other. I'm gonna spawn some more, though, because I need to keep this combo going. There we go. Throw him back that way. That should make them throwable. There we go. Throw him back this way. 176 hits isn't amazing yet. Whoop, careful. We need to get more. Ooh, we're probably going to be throwing things at us, which makes this a bit more difficult again, but not impossible. We just keep throwing things at people. Or people at other people, I guess. We've got up to 246 hits. We need way more than that, though. We've gotten silver. We need to get gold. And grab him, throw him this way. That's a good number of hits, but not enough yet. We've got 200 and a combo for an achievement, which is something I apparently hadn't done before. Keep throwing them though, up to 400, we did it. Okay, there we go. 429 hits, gets us our full combo. Very nice. <laughs> Santa Gulpiza! Alright, that was not so bad either. Another gold medal, what's this one all about? Challenge number three is using the environment to defeat these invincible enemies. Oh good. Alright, down we go. It's a timed thing. What is this? Is this open a trap door in the floor? What did that do? That didn't seem to do anything. Oh, you can't switch dimensions here, so that's not a thing that's relevant. But if I can't hit them... Oh, you can hit them. Oh, it makes the spikes in the wall appear. Let's restart this one. Okay. I see. What we have to do is make the spikes appear. Hit enemies into them. That'll kill them. I probably should have tried to throw the... Uh... <laughs> he followed me in. That's funny. Alright, we need to go hit that switch again quickly before they come too far away. Whoop. Hit them back into the spikes. So if we can throw them all together, that'll work out pretty easily. Anything else? Lots more else. That's fine, though. We should be able to get these guys... Oh, no. Spikes are gone. Back up we go. Get over there. Get off the platform, you jerk. Over that way. Get into the wall, please. Okay, we're gonna have to hit this again. We've got a yellow guy. Two yellow guys. This might be a bit more tricky. I could potentially spook them into doing it themselves, but we only have five seconds left to beat this last wave. And that's the wall gone now, unfortunately. I needed to headbutt them, I think. A headbutt will send them flying, so that's the way to do it. That's the way to get them into the spikes for sure. Save us a bit of time. Okay, well we can try that again next time. I think I just want to see if this is the last wave after all. No, go the other way, you jerk. Into the wall, please. There we go. That is the last wave. Okay, so we have a silver medal pretty easily. But we can do that one again to get gold without too much trouble, I think, now that we realize we should be using the headbutt instead. Let's try this again. Can we get ourselves an even better medal? Headbutt! I don't see the spikes, which is kind of a weird glitch, but they are there, apparently, because people are dying against them. This is going to be irritating, though, if he doesn't want to back into those spikes. Get in there! Oh, the spikes are gone now. I couldn't tell, because they didn't show up in the first place. Yeah, they're really not showing up. That's really weird. Alright, on this side. Punch them. Headbutt them. Headbutt them. Ah, the spikes are gone again. Alright, headbutt. Dead. Dead and dead. Perfect. Whoop, he did not go in the right direction at all. That not going in the right direction thing definitely makes this a lot harder. But, I think we've definitely figured out the right strategy here. All we have to do... is headbutt them into the wall. Come on! I'm tired of headbutting people having to go the wrong way. Let's try this one again. Maybe the spikes will actually show up this time. It makes it a little bit easier to predict when you can actually see what you're doing. There we go. Now they're visible. That's nice. That's a 
posted previously when they were completely invisible. Go to click off again. Put them back on. Chuck him into the spikes. There we go. Next wave. One gone. They're gonna spawn the red ones in a second. That's two more gone. There we go. Oh, just in time. All right. Got him. Perfect. Smack him in. Get in there. Good. Next is the yellow. We got on the good track here for this one, but it does roll past me, which makes this really irritating. Spikes are gone. Turn them back on. Hopefully I can get these guys to go away again, because otherwise this is going to be a lot harder. We have this. We have 12 whole seconds just to make them run into a wall. However, they keep going the wrong direction, which makes this way harder than it needs to be. Alright, we, we, we missed it this time. We had it, though. We had it. The game just decided they weren't going to go in the right direction. Of course, that's the problem with the yellow enemies. That's basically what they're all about. They don't go where you want them to go. Alright. That was a nice quick one. Hit him into the wall. Go back up. Switch the switch. One more. There we go. Armadillos, you're next. Oh, just in time. Got him anyway. It's the dash on those yellow guys is the worst. Okay, we got two of them, that's good. We have 20 seconds, basically, to get this one Chupacabra. It should be very doable, as long as I don't get combo hit by that stinking thing. There we go, we got him. Very nice. 15 seconds to spare that time. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Alright, let's get out of here. Next room, what's this all about? Challenge number four. Use carefully timed dodges to get through the thorns. Ooh. Just give up, it says. Alright. Dodge, 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 dodge. Nope. Restart time. We're probably gonna have to try this one a couple times as well to get the right position to start from. Oops. We start from here, we should be able to get all the way, except if we do that. I get the feeling that this timer is based on, like, gold as you make no mistakes. Oh, lovely. There we go. Oh, the green resets you all the way back to the start, too. That is mean. There's the finish line right there. You know what would actually be better here, I bet you? Oh, we missed it by one second! That was mean. Okay, so it's actually pretty easy then. As I was gonna say, if we do a wall dash here, we can't switch worlds though, and we can't jump on that wall anyway. They were prepared for that. Okay then. Let's try this then the old fashioned way. Okay, that's weird. The dash, the roll just sort of stopped there in the middle of those spikes. There we go, that's more like it. Magusta! There we go, we're through. And that was a nice easy one, 17 seconds. Nice and fast, okay. Some easy golds. Let's break this one before we go up any further so we can get up here easier later if we want to. And up the wall we go. I wonder how many floors of these there are. What's this? Challenge number five. What is this all about? Survive the waves of enemies as long as we can. If too many enemies pile up on the bridge, it will collapse. Okay. Interesting. So this is about speed killing, it looks like. I do like how those plants are the first enemies they spawn at you, and are the worst ones for getting rid of quickly, because they had to hide in the ground. Alright, well, let's grab this one before he gets back in the hole. No, we're doing terribly so far. That's more like it, though. Combo those guys together. That's the easy way to kill them. Alright. You can get combo throws and you're golden, but then you can just keep knocking them over with each other. And there's not much they can do against you. Like so. I'm gonna just break that last one, which is not what I wanted to do, but that's fine. Combo the throws. No, oh, now they have shields. That's just mean. Not surprising, but mean. Alright. So far, nothing too bad's happened, though, really. We've already almost made it to the point where they will start to let us, uh... Oh, now they're in the floor ones. Let us get our goal. We don't need too much more, really. What we do need, though, is a way to get those plants out of the ground. If we can't do that, we're in trouble. 
because they will be pain in the butt to deal with for sure. Unlike the other enemies, we're pretty easy to deal with. These guys will give us trouble. Thankfully, we got a whole bunch of them out of the ground there. As long as we go back in, we'll be fine. Throw them. Should make it a bit easier. We're almost at 145. I'm not too worried just yet. I just need to grab this yellow guy. Oh, hello. That's not good news. Those hammer guys might actually kill us here before we can do anything else about them. So you can't dodge their attacks, and they will hit the entire bridge, basically. We need one more second, though. Alright, we got it. We got it. More than long enough now. Probably gonna die here in a second, but at least we survive long enough. There we go. Gold medal, 154. Not bad. Next, what is this? Challenge number six. Defeat the enemies without dodging. Ooh. And you have to have 175 hit combo without dodging. That's interesting. Well, let's just let them generate a little bit first, because that's the easiest way to deal with the combos to begin with. If they're not going to spawn anybody, we'll have to start and fight them the old-fashioned way, but... I suspect they will, but it doesn't look like they're gonna. Alright. Let's get down here and beat these guys up, then. Pile driver! That didn't work at all. It's fine. It's just a throw. I really should be throwing these guys up, though. Ah, we took a hit there. Lost our combo. Let's try that again. We don't need to get too big of a combo, but we need to not get hit by those bones, which means we need to knock down the throwing guys pretty quickly. They should probably be our first priority as soon as we go for anything fancy. So now these guys spawn, which is fine. But as soon as these guys spawn, we need to take them out. There we go. That way, they can't deal with any problematic issues for us. Same with the armadillos. Once they start jumping, we're in trouble. So we want to try and stop that from being an issue. Ow! Oh, couldn't quite grab him fast enough. That would have protected me from having that combo interrupted. But we might be able to build up another one fast enough. I doubt it, but we'll try. If we'd been able to grab him, that would have been fine. Unfortunately, we weren't. So we'll see how this goes. We'll see what other enemies he's going to throw at us in here so we know what to be aware of, and then we can go from there. 74 hits. Okay, now it's these yellow guys. That's evil. Because the yellow guys are pretty hard to get around. So I think we need to do this point is be able to dash into them and make sure that they don't get a chance to hit us. But the problem is there's also the red enemies as well. Hmm. Alright, at least we know what we're up against. And the dodge button doesn't kill you or anything, it just doesn't work. Which is good to know. We should knock out the ranged enemies. There we go. Okay, I think this is definitely doable. It's just going to take a couple tries, I suspect. Only a bronze medal, but we can go back and do that again, no problem. So, let's try that one again quickly and see if we can actually get a good combo in on these guys this time. I think the biggest problem is going to be the yellow enemies, but I think we should be able to deal with it without too much difficulty before they get there. And if we do certain abilities like the pile driver, we get more combo hits out of them, so that's good to make sure we do. Pile drive him up on this side, knock out the enemy from across the other side. There we go. I want to get rid of these guys as efficiently as possible. Very nice. Alright. Unfortunately, we did get hit by the armadillos again. The armadillos seem like the worst stage for me. We're going to try this again and see if we can maybe interrupt the armadillos. But that seems to be the hardest part. Because if we can get past that, our combo should be able to get to at least about 150 without too much more difficulty. And that would be pretty effective. We just have to make sure we can actually get there. Actually, it looks like throwing them gives you the same amount of not a combo as using them as a pile driver or any of those other combo stages. So it doesn't actually seem like it's a problem to do the throw instead of anything else. So that's good to know. We still get five combo for all of those. All right. You know, this guy, use him to throw him directly up. Immediately combo into him. There we go. Ah, we lost our combo. That's not good. We can't afford to lose the combo in this challenge, otherwise we've got to start over, basically. Oh. Alright, this one is definitely a bit trickier than the ones we've played up until now, though. Those ones are pretty straightforward. This one is giving us a little bit more of a run for our money. 
Not that it's particularly difficult either, just that it has a bit more of a easy to mess up element to it. It's pretty easy to lose your combo against most of these enemies. You have to pound this guy quickly, pile driver him, he's dead. Okay, now we go up on the green one who spawns first. Trying to get him throwable first, throw him at his friend. There we go, that's what we needed to do. Don't give them a chance to do anything back. Keep hitting them, there we go, 114. That's pretty good for our combo for now. We're gonna boost across, hit them all that way. Chuck them into each other if we can. Uh oh, just about to get hit there. Thankfully we did not. 148 hits, we need a little bit more. A little bit more against these guys. We can't afford to get hit yet. And we got hit, 153, that's annoying. I think the strategy at this point is actually to come up on the roof and ignore the yellow guys for as long as possible. If we can use them to hit each other, that would have put us up to about 173. So all we would have needed was a couple more hits against these guys without taking damage, we would have been able to do it. All right. We'll try this probably one more time on camera, and after that I'll do it off camera at some point, because I think we get the idea now. Yeah, we could have we could have definitely done that. But one more try, and we'll see if we can get it, and if not, then we will try the next challenge. Here we go. Can we get this? After this, I think we, since we understand the strategy, I think it's just a matter of doing it again and again until we actually get it to do exactly what we want, which is why I'm not too worried about trying to do it immediately for you guys. And you guys recognize what we have to do now. Just get out of there. Whoop. And we got hit. That wasn't the real try. So at least one more try for this section with the armadillos is what I meant. Because that is where it's actually a challenge. That was just me making a silly mistake. Alright. Shuck these enemies around. Into the ground. Next. Hit him. Chuck him. Hit him. Chuck him. And we're dead. Alright. Well, I guess I'm not going to be able to do this one right now. That's fine, though. I wonder if I can easily quit this challenge, though, after I have to sit through it. Can I leave through the door again? You can. Alright, we'll talk about you do six off screen at some point, because you guys understand how to do that. I know how to do it. I just have to actually make sure it happens on screen, which isn't a bit time consuming. You have to jump between the moving platforms and get to the end as fast as possible. Okay. Platforming puzzle. Here we go. Whoop. That wasn't so bad. Six seconds for the first part. Come on. Whoop. There we go. Not so bad either. And another part. Okay. And... Ooh! Just in time for the gold medal. That was a nice easy one. Alright, next. What is that a reference to? Is that an Ape Escape monkey? It's got the Ape Escape monkey hats. Challenge 8. Defeat the enemies without, without the use of special moves. Okay. Oh, this is another combo one. The combo ones are irritating because it's really easy to mess them up. Ooh, it starts with plants too. That's pretty mean. Of all the enemies, the plants are one of the hardest ones to combo and to not use special moves into. Thankfully, we have other enemies now, so we can throw them at each other. That's definitely the easiest way to get rid of them. Because throws are quite effective against the underground enemies. Knocks them out of the ground, makes them much easier to fight. Uh-oh. We can dodge, but I just messed it up. Alright, we're probably not going to be able to beat this one in one try either, but that's to be expected. These combo ones are mean. What else are we going to throw at us? More greens? We can throw no problem, we can't use any of the special powers. Oh, really? I have to wait till they randomly choose to come down to me? Or just start combo throwing them? Looks like it. And they shoot... They, they, they shot me mid-throw, so that guy's glitched into the air. Good to know that can happen. Alright, well, this one is going to be a pain in the butt, it looks like. It looks like it's just a trial and error, though, to eventually get this uh, to happen so that they can actually hit all the chupacabras without the combo being interrupted. Doesn't actually look super... like... That, okay, that guy's a bit tricky. What I was say, though, is that the, uh, it doesn't look like there's anything really fancy to it. You just need to make sure that you don't get unlucky. Otherwise, you won't be able to do it. Same with these guys. If you can get a throw-off on them, then they're done, basically. Because you can just combo throw them until they die, like that. Which is easy enough, 
but getting those chupacabras to cooperate will be annoying. So I'm probably gonna come back and do this one later. Maybe do one more try right now. Ooh, I can't hear out of one ear now. It's really weird. <laughs> That's a weird feeling. All right, let's get back over here and try again. Grab him, chuck him into his friend. Nope, missed entirely. That's okay. We got new. That's terrible. Hey, let's get a good try on this, and then we'll go to the next challenge. I think we can go to the next challenge. I don't know if you have to actually beat all of them to go to the next floor. I hope not. So otherwise, I can make this take a heck of a lot longer. All we need to do here is make sure that we keep comboing the plants out of the ground, so we can keep hitting them. There we go, like so. Now it's the armadillo time. There we go, that's what I was trying to do. Throw the armadillos into each other. Makes them a lot more vulnerable. That's more like it. Now is the chupacabra stage? No, now is the chupacabra stage. Nothing we can do about it, because we got no superpowers. We just gotta hope they come down fast enough so we can keep our combo. Nope. <laughs> that was what I was talking about. That's the annoying part of this challenge. You just have to hope they come down fast enough so you can hit one and keep your combo. Because if they don't, then you're done. So you can't get up there. Alright, well we're not going to try this one again on screen either, because this one just seems like a tedious one waiting for the random number generator to make sure that you don't lose. But, uh... At least we know it's pretty doable up until this stage, when the random number generation really starts to be a problem. Alright, and now it's the whirlwinds. Ooh, punched right out of your attack. Alright, we didn't quite mash them up there like we planned, so this will work a little bit better now, I think. There we go. Done. We got ourselves at least a silver. We'll come back here and get a gold off screen, I think, probably, because that one is annoying. Let's at least see what, if we can get to the next floor yet, and we'll probably end this episode here for now. Smash down through some green barricades. And run up the wall again. There is more than one floor, though, here. Okay. What do you have to say? There are farm animals and luchadors wandering around in my workplace, and I have no idea who to complain to about this. <laughs> What do we have here? We have a special move, hazard avoidance. No throwing. We have a portal room. And moving obstacles. Okay, those sound interesting, but we're going to have to end this episode here for now. So, thank you for watching, everyone. This has been Vanguard of Valor, playing some guacamole for you, making our way through El Infierno. And look forward to seeing you again next time. Until then, bye bye